Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be making some alcohol ink resin flower coasters. So let's jump in and get started. I have one ounce of clear in this cup here. This is just clear resin. And I was going to add about 45 drops of this Let's Resin Sinker White Alcohol Ink, but a big squirt ended up coming out. So I want to say it ended up being about 60 drops of the alcohol ink. And I'm going to give that a good mix, make sure that it's nice and incorporated. And it's not going to be super opaque. It will be still a little bit transparent. Um, and that's what you're looking for. I'm going to be using blue sapphire and lemon yellow as my colors today. And what I'm going to do is just put the blue in the corners of the molds and the yellow in the center. And I did go ahead and fill up my molds. Um, they're about halfway full with just clear resin. And today I'm using the Total Boat High Performance Epoxy. And I did mix up my resin off camera just to save time, but if you're new to resin and you want to see a tutorial showing step-by-step -step how to mix your resin and your pigments, I will link my Milky Way coaster tutorial down below in the description box. Be sure to go check it out. I show you step-by-step -step how to mix your resin if you're new to resin and you want to see how to do that. So I'm just going in, adding my inks right on top of that clear resin, yellow in the middle, middle and uh, the blue mostly on the outer two edges. And these are coaster molds um, off Amazon. They're square and they're about four inches in diameter. I'll link up down below as well. Now we're going to go in with that white that we mixed up and just make little swirly designs. And that's it. Just leave it didn't add any heat to this or anything like that. I'm just gonna leave it and here we are the next day. You can see there's some really pretty flower designs on this top side, but we're gonna go for the bottom side of the coasters on this set. So I'm gonna fill up the molds the rest of the way with some iridescent glitter. You can use whatever color glitter you want. I just use some iridescent glitter mixed in with some clear resin. And I'm just gonna basically fill them up, take my little spatula, Make sure that every single spot of the mold is full and has coverage of that resin. I'm going to hit them with my heat gun on high to pop any bubbles that may be in there. And that's pretty much it. I'll cover them up with an upside down storage container, let them dry for 24 hours, and then we'll be ready to demold them. Here we are, 24 hours later, ready to pop these out of the molds. I was so excited to see how these turned out. They this one didn't really turn out like a flower shape, but I still think it's really cool. There's some really fun texture in there um, from that alcohol ink. I usually only draw, add about 45 drops of that Let's Resin Sinker White when I do this technique. So adding a little bit more alcohol ink of that uh, white alcohol ink gave me some really cool effects like this one almost look like looks like it has a worm technique on it you can see it's got some really cool depth in there and there's a lot of really awesome details when you look at these pieces up close super super cool and this technique is so easy to do as well i hope you guys give this a try i have made a few other sets like this on my channel previously so if you haven't seen those videos be sure to go check them out i'll link them down below in the description box and i'll also leave them at the end card screen of this video so at the end of the video just click the picture and it'll take you straight to those videos so you can go check them out this one ended up turning out more like a flower. I was really happy with the shape of this one. I think it almost kind of looks like an iris, which is kind of fun. Um, I'll have to do some more experimenting and see why the shapes on the first two didn't turn out as perfect as the shapes on these last two. But, you know, with resin art and fluid art, it's got a mind of its own sometimes and it just does what it wants to do. But um, this one here also turned out really pretty as well. It's got a lot of really awesome wispy effects and so much depth in there up close. I was gonna demold these outside, but it's just been really cloudy here lately. So I'm just demolding them in some just regular lighting. 
but you can see some of those fun details in that top right corner right here. Let me know what you guys think of these down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave me a like, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and go check out a few more of my other videos. That would really help out my channel a lot, and I'll link all the materials I used down below in the description box, along with any coupon codes that I have if you guys want to get any of these products to try. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys are all doing fantastic and I will see you next week for another video. Bye guys.